Ross Welford, the dog who saved the world. Introduction. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, allow me to introduce, drum roll, Mr. Mash, the dog who saved the world. I love him more than anything. I know that sounds harsh on Dad and Clem, but I think they'll understand, especially after what happened over the summer. We don't know exactly how old he is, how he became a stray, or even what sort of dog he might be. He's got shaggy fur, grey, brown and white ears that flop over the ends. He's got a cute and quincive face, like a snorzer, big soft eyes and a strong, very waggy tail like a Labrador. In other words, he's a mishmash. When we got him, from the St. Wolf shelter, the vicar said I could name him, so I said Mishmash, which sounded like Mishmash, but because he was a boy dog, he became Mr. Mash. Mr. Mash was my very best friend, very stupid friend. His tongue was far too big for his mouth, so often just rolled lols out, making him look even dafter. He's completely unable to tell if something is food or not, so he just eats it anyway. This in turn means that he's what he has what the vicar calls a wind problem. You can say that again. Silent and violent, Dad says. Disgusting, says Jessica. But she never liked him much anyway. Without Mr. Mash, the world might have ended, really. That was Introduction of the Dog Who Just Saved the World by Ross Welford.